Trolling isn't as easy as it sometimes might look, especially when you have experienced tournament anglers like Chase Parsons or Robert Blosser at the helm. You know, there's a lot of places we go that we catch much bigger fish, but these things are fun. Oh yeah. Just watching I, it on the lead rods, watching these things crush it. When you can come out and <laughs> rifle through a bunch of fish in a day, you know, size doesn't always matter. Yeah. This is especially true when trolling structure like brake lines. Boy, that colored flicker's been pretty good, right? hasn't it? Yeah. That thing. Look, 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 at, look, look, at, at, look at the paint. <laughs> <laughs> you think that thing's caught a few? <laughs> <laughs> but there are a few tricks Chase and Robert use that keep them ahead of the changing depths as they comb different sections of the old Wisconsin River Channel on Lake Wisconsin in search of sauger and walleye. When trolling a brake line, one thing that'll help you stay where you need to be is by reading the depth off your front electronics. And what that's going to give you is a quicker picture of the depth change so you're able to make the necessary corrections in the rear of the boat to keep yourself right on that brake line. Fish on Chase. Oh you got one hanging there. You got one. <laughs> Good one. It's got a little bit of fight to it. That's a slogger too. Some, some, yeah. Quick head shakes. Any weight to him? A little bit. Little not bit. bad. A little like bit. It. I like it. All right, here he comes. Yep. Coming to you. There we go, man. Right. Hey, that's a nice. good one. Look at that. There's soccer. a fat one. I would Jeez. say. <laughs> and he's been eating like you. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I have a couple pretzels. <laughs> Yeah, with how they attack crankbaits, you don't want to put your hand in that thing's mouth. No, I'm not going in there. Dude, that's a nice sauger. Yeah, it is. I would Here. like to eat this one, but I think I'm going to let them go. <laughs> Sounds good. While the initial target species was for walleye, there's been no end to the number of saugers beating them off the break in search of a meal. Fish on? You got me on them, dude. I can't, Fish even, on. Get, I can't even get lines out right now. This one feels... What do you think? Ah, it's all right. It's all right, I'm getting excited. Which is just fine for Chase and Robert, because with four rods out, big fish are always nice. Wants to come up. But numbers really make trolling fun, so as badly as these Lake Wisconsin saugers seem to be itching for shad-style crankbaits. It's coming in hot. They are just lucky no one's looking to make sandwiches, at least for today <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's a great fish in the pan though. It absolutely is. Look at that, beautiful sauger spots, flicker shad, he liked it. The Real Deal, real fishing information from real fishing experts, presented by Amsoil. Well, winter time has arrived here, and because it's winter, I'm heading up to northern Minnesota to do some ice fishing. Along the way, I stopped by at the Amsoil National Headquarters, and I'm with product manager Len Groom here, and it's cold. We're, we're going to go ice fishing. This is one of the things that I'll be using on this trip. What is so much better about synthetics in general and specifically in cold weather situations like we're going to have here? Well, synthetics in general tend to be a little bit better than the conventional type of products. But in the cold weather, there are a few specific things that you're looking for with a synthetic product. Oh. Number one, it's easier to pull the cord. The product flows better at cold temperatures, so people understand that it's, it's easier to pull that cord. Yeah. But once you pull it and it starts, the motor starts, that oil has to move freely inside there, so you're protecting that engine once it starts running. People don't understand that once it starts, they think they're okay. That oil needs to get on the pistons and the internal workings of the motor in order to provide protection. A good chunk of your wear actually comes at cold startup. So it's easier to pull the cord, which everyone can relate to. It starts quicker, and you still get the high-end protection of a synthetic that we're used to with Amsoil. It really is an awesome product. Everything he said is why I use Amsoil. <laughs>